everyone. Welcome to class. Really quickly, before we go into it, I would like to introduce you to two new members of the staff. This is Cappy, named after the hero from Super Mario Odyssey. And this is Mango. He's just adorable. That's it. He's an octopus. Hi. Okay. So. Today's video is based off of, just one second, is about stupid things I used to believe about Pokemon. Not believe, but just hate. Like, one of the things I hated most when I did my first playthrough of Pokemon White 2, because that was the first Pokemon game I ever played, was, uh... What is the use of the ground type? Like, it's just the same as rock type. It's a big, hard thing that comes from the earth. So, that's it. But then I realized, oh, this ground and rock are separate. Because ground is more like taking things from the earth and hurling them. Whereas rock is more... Uh, taking things that are separate from the earth and hurling them. There's rock throw and ancient power for you. Um, so, but at the time, I was like, they're the same thing. I bet a lot of people thought this. But one of my favorite Pokemon, once I understood why ground types exist, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time is a ground type. Go lurk for life. Nobody can change my mind. I think I only have two Pokemon that I like more. Yeah, Go lurk is third. I think. I think second. Second, I think was like. I can't remember the team I used for competitive in Pokemon White Two. I know I had my starter all the way through. I know I used a lot of legendaries because I was a noob and that's kind of stupid. Um, I think I had, I know I had my Embor for the whole thing. Um, I think all the hate Embor gets is a little unnecessary. I know it's the third firefighting type in a row. But it was the first Pokemon I ever had, so I've always so I've always had and always will have a soft spot for it. Um Number two is probably Yamper, because it's so cute. And it's pretty good Pokemon once it evolves. But I never used one in Pokemon Sword or Shield. Um my Pokemon Sword team when I finished the game for the when I like beat everyone and then Leon was Rillaboom, Crowin, which was my Corviknight, get it? Crowin and Rowan was a traditional English name. I had a Dreadnought which I named Chomk. <laughs> a Colossal which I named Rick Roll. Um I think I had a Graplock somewhere in there I named like Juby Jibu or something. And I had an Orbeetle named Blippo. I like nicknaming my Pokemon. <laughs> um, and when I was done with Pokemon Sword, I had my Cinderace. Another Corviknight. Dude, Steel Flying is a good type matchup. Fight me. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'll check it later. But I know a Golurk was in there. And I love Golurk. It's an awesome Pokemon. None of you can change my mind. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Another thing I thought was stupid was how there was, like, you get to the gym, like a gym leader, and you're like, okay, time for the big fight. My Pokemon are all healed up. I don't have anything to stand in my way. But then there's the, but then there's the problem of getting to the gym leader. 
There's like, oh, this weird puzzle, the gym trainers. There's no time to heal up. And because they're, and because it's kind of hard to come by ether or elixir, if someone can tell me where I can get ether and elixir and Pokemon Sword and Shield, I will be your best friend forever. Because when you're done with all of the gym trainers and it's time for the gym leader, you have, you may have healed all your Pokemon up because there's that brief window, but they're but their PP hasn't been restored. Ugh. I hate that. Okay. Third thing. When people mispronounce gym leader names. Like. One of the most common cases right now. Is the 8th gym leader. In Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yes, I am talking about. Ryan. It's Ryan, not Ray Han. Ryan. R A I H A N. It's just simple phonetics. Ry N. Um It's just P uh yeah, it's Milo Nessa Ka I can't remember. It's like Kabu or something. I'm sorry. He's like my favorite gym leader. That's a terrible thing for me to do. Alistair B, not Bay, weirdo. Unless you're her, unless you're her boyfriend. <laughs> um. Opal, Gordy, Melanie, Pierce, Ra Ra Ryan. So, another thing, I, this isn't something that bu used to bug me or does, it's just throwing it out there. There actually is an Elite Four in Pokemon Sword and Shield, people just don't realize it. Bade comes out of nowhere, so he's the first Elite Four member, then Nessa, then B or Alistair, then Ryan. Though technically you could count Chairman Rose as one of the Elite Four, because even though he isn't an official gym leader, he should be, because unless you have like a team full of fire types, he's a pretty tough battle, and it's one final challenge before before going on to the champion. He's a trainer with a big obstacle, Gigantamax, uh, Copperaja. I can't Pokemon or English today, I am so very sorry. Um, so yeah, there's technically an Elite 5 in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. That's about it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Class dismissed, I guess. Okay, bye.